Thank you all viewers and subscribers for tune into our channel. In previous part of this project, we have seen hardware configurations and interfacings of the project, IoT-based smart door lock. In this part, we will see about webhooks integrations in Particle Cloud. In this project we will see webhook configurations, what are webhooks, how webhook works. Then we will see how to generate OTP and how to send data to Google Sheets. Now, let's see about webhooks in detail. Webhooks are a simple and flexible way to send data from your particle devices to other apps and services around the internet. Webhooks bridge the gap between the physical and the digital world, helping you get your data where you need it to be. You could use a webhook to save valuable information in a database, visualize data being read from a sensor, send the latest weather report to your device, trigger a telegram bot, send a text message, and so much more. You must have thinking, how would have these webhooks work? Let's find out. Webhooks are tightly integrated with Particle's event system. Devices have the ability to both publish events to the Particle Cloud, as well as subscribe to events from the cloud. A webhook listens for a specific event published by a device. When this event is published, the webhook triggers a web request to a URL on the web. The request sent by the webhook can include information about the event, such as its name, as well as any data included when the event was published. You can configure a webhook to make different types of web requests. The most common type of webhook request is a post, which is a method of sending data to another web server. In the case of particle webhooks, this would mean sending data from your devices to a third-party web service. Check out following link to know more about particle webhook integrations. Let us move forward and see how to generate OTP means one-time password. To generate the OTP, we need to first create a random number. For four-digit OTP, we will create four-digit random number using this code. It is very basic method, but it is suited for this DIY learning project. After creating random number, let's see how to create a Telegram bot who will send that random number as OTP to user. Go to following link where they have given procedure to create Telegram bot and particle webhook for that. So, here you can see, they have given procedure in steps. Step 1. Create your bot. Step 2. Save the HTTP API token. Step 3. Get your Telegram user ID. And, step 4. Test it from the command line. You can also follow the instructions given here with details. On this link you can learn everything about Telegram bots, their commands, and the info about the bot father, a master bot who ruled them all. You can also check out the video given below in description and in above i button. Where, we have explained this procedure of creating Telegram bot, obtaining bot token, and finding chat ID, etc. in detail. Once you get your HTTP API bot token, chat ID, let's move forward and see how to create webhook. Open the integrations section of your particle console and create a new webhook. Here, they have given the link. Go to particle cloud console. Log in with your credentials. So here is the console of our account. You can see we have two claimed devices, Particle Photon and Particle Argon. Then go to Integrations section. Here you can add new integrations. There are two existing integrations here, which we have previously created, for, one is for Telegram Bot, and other is for Google Sheet Entry. When you click on New Integration, you can see, we can add these all types of integrations. Here we have to select webhooks. In this form, give name of event. In this URL field, you have to put the API URL, which you use to test the bot and command line testing. 
Let me show you how you can create it. Let's go to our previous tab. Here in step 4, you can see the format of URL like this. Here after the word bot, you have to put your HTTP API token, which you got from Botfather during creation of bot. So, this will look like this. Here, this is bot token. Do not copy this, this is just an example, you have to replace it with your bot token. So this is the complete URL. Now go to your webhook creation form again. Here you have to paste your URL. Then next, select request type as, post, request format as, custom body, device, here if you claimed registered your device, select that. Keep status as enabled. Then click advanced settings. Here in custom request body. Put this type of text which we got from. Step 4. Here, you have to replace your telegram user ID. You can get that by chatting with bot named user info bot. We have explained this in video link given in description, as well as in i button above. Here also note that content type is application oblique JSON. Now, again go to console. In chat ID value field, replace your telegram user ID. And, in text value field, put the text you want to send as message with OTP. Here, this variable, particle underscore event underscore value will get replaced with data we sent from photon, that is, random number, means OTP. So, this text you can change it, as per your choice. Note that, all this must be in curly braces, and fields must be between double quotes. Then next make sure that, in the HTTP headers content type must be application oblique JSON. That's all. Click on save to save the configuration. So here we will get summary of our webhook with details. Now the question arises, how you can trigger this integration. Here particle given the firmware example. You have to put this code in your main loop to trigger the integration. The data is the string, which we sent to particle webhook, in our case this data is our OTP. You can also get integration response using this code if you want. You just need to subscribe to the integration response event. We have used this line in our main code. So, this was all about webhook for OTP generation. Now let's see, webhook for Google Sheet entry. Go to this link, Particle has given this application note, where they have explained in detail about how to create Google Sheet, script for it, and webhook. So let's find out. Here, they says, if you have relatively small amounts of data to store, and don't want to implement a more complex database scheme, using a Google G Soot spreadsheet might be a good solution. So, here is the procedure. Step 1. Create this script. Step 2. Run a test in the script editor. Step 3. Save version and publish the script. And the step 4. Create the webhook. Let's see its demo. Go to your Google account. Go to Sheets. In Google Sheets, click here to create a new spreadsheet. Here is the new spreadsheet. Give name to spreadsheet as IoT Smart Door Lock. It will then get saved to our G drive automatically. Then, go to Tools. Click Script Editor. Script Editor will get open. When the first time you open the script, there will be an empty function in the code.js tab. Replace it with code given in Particle's application note. Go to that tab. 
copy this code, too. Here, like this. The test function is used for testing within the script editor. Then save the script. Give name to project as smartlock. Then, click OK. Sometimes it will take time to save. So, the script is saved. Now let's test this script. Select the name of function, here is the test function. Select it. Then click on this run button. To run this function. First time, it will ask for the permissions. Click on Review Permissions, new window will get open, ask you to sign in. Log in with same Google ID on which you created this spreadsheet. After that Google may show the error message saying like, Google hasn't verified this app. It's obvious. Click on this word, Advanced, it will open a drop down. Showing following message, continue only if you understand the risks and trust the developer. Check for your email ID given here. Even though it is saying unsafe. Click, go to, and whatever the name of app you given. Then on next window, click on allow button to give authorization. Now authorization is complete. You can run the test function again if you want. Now, go to spreadsheet. You will find the entries with three parameters. The timestamp. This means our script is working correctly. Now, we have to save the version and publish the script. For that, in script, from the file menu, select Manage Versions. Give name as Initial Version. And save it. Click OK. Just saving the script does not update the active version. You must create a version and publish it for the changes to take effect. From the Publish menu, select Deploy as Web App. In the Deploy as Web App screen, there are several things to note. The project version is 1 initially. As you save updated versions of the script, you can change the deployed version without changing the URL, so you don't have to edit the webhook every time. Then next important point is, execute the app as, must be set to me. Because the particle webhook server is the sender of the event, it will not be logged into Google, so the other options cannot be used. After that, this thing, who has access to this app, must be set to anyone, even anonymous. This seems a little scary, but it only means that anyone with the web app URL, will be able to post values to the script. They won't be able to do anything with the document itself or other files in your Google Drive. Do all this and then click on Deploy. Copy the URL which comes in next window, this one. We need it to enter in webhook configuration. Now click OK. Now, next step is to create the webhook for Google Sheet. Let's go into Particle Console again and Open Integrations. Use the New Integration button plus icon to create a new integration. Then select the Webhook option for the kind of integration to create. Webhook Configuration form will open. Here, set the event name. Set the URL field to the URL of the web app you just deployed. Remember to keep this a secret. Set the request type to post. Set the request format to web form. Device, here if you claimed and registered your device, select that. Keep status as enabled. If you expand the advanced settings make sure the form fields are set to default. After that, click to create the webhook. Then on console, in the view integration window, you can use the test button to test your new webhook. Let's test it. Click on Test button. Webhook will execute, and you will find new entry in your spreadsheet. But there will be no data. Just timestamp. So, our webhook works properly. To trigger the integration, put the following given code. Here, 
This particle dot publish function included in your firmware. All right, in this way we have seen how to create the webhooks for OTP generation and Google Sheet log entry. Now let's revise the things which we have to complete for this project. In initial setup, we have to first create particle account. Claim and register your particle device on Cloud Console. Download and install VS Code IDE. Install Particle Workbench extension into VS Code. Download and install Particle CLI. Register Particle device from VS Code IDE through Particle Workbench. After that, for RFID Reader, we have to create RFID Reader project, assemble circuit as shown in schematics. Add RFID Reader library for Photon. Then load test project and find out RFID codes of cards and tags which we want to use in the project. We've to enter that in code for authorized specific user. Then for NextGen touchscreen display, download and install NextGen editor ID. Download final TFT file from our GitHub page. We have also shared its design source code files. If you wanted to change orientation or resolution of your display screen, you have to recompile that project with your settings, then flash that output TFT file using SD card method. If you want to test your display first, then interface particle photon with it and create separate test project, install NextGen display library, load any example from library, then create GUI for that, flash it on NextGen display. Then test the photon example code, for example we have tested the comp button. After that, create webhook integration for OTP. Add four-digit random number generator code. Create telegram bot, obtain HTTP API token, and user chat ID from telegram to send OTP to specific user. Then create webhook for OTP. When we publish random number data, webhook post method will call API which triggers the bot to send that data, OTP, received from device to specific user's telegram app. Then next, create webhook integration for Google Sheet. Create Google Sheet for recording authorized entries through door with timestamp. Create the script to record incoming data coming from device into Sheet. Save and publish the script, then deploy as web app. Copy the current web app URL, make it public. So far, we have completed all these steps. Now, in next part, we will finally assemble circuit as per final complete schematic. Load the main project in VS Code IDE. Install all libraries. Replace the RFID cards codes with authorized codes. Include OTP webhook relevant code into main program. Include Google Sheet webhook relevant code into main program. Finally we will test and debug the project. In next and final part, we will see demo of the project. Stay tuned.